Welcome to your Quest of Sports update for the week of February 24th, 2014. I'm Peter Schuler, and this week in Cuesta, local rival Alan Hancock lost to Cuesta three times this year, delivered a gift to the Cougars last Saturday with a win over Canyons in their season finale. The win vaulted Cuesta's women's basketball team into second place into a second place tie in the Western State Conference with Moore Park and Canyons and helped them earn a home playoff game. The Cougars also did a fair bear of work themselves last week with a win over Moore Park on Wednesday. WC champion Ventura claimed the number one seed in the playoffs, while Cuesta's fellow runner-up, Canyons and Moorpark, were seeded 13th and 18th, respectively. Cuesta women's basketball hosts its first playoff game since 2006. The Cougars, who finished second in the conference, are the number eight seed in the three CAA regional playoffs. They host number nine seed, Orange Coast. In 2006, the Cougars were the number 15 seed and beat number 18 seed Cerritos in the West Wednesday play-in game. This year, the Cougars will skip the play-in game and host the Pirates on Friday at 7 p.m. The two teams have never met in the postseason. However, Orange Coast did win their last meeting on December 14, 2012 in Costa Mesa. The winner of this game will play again on March 5, and they will likely play number one seed Ventura, who will need to get past play-in entrance Palomar or Santa Ana in the second round. Men's basketball completed its quest for a third straight playoff berth and the program's 12th conference title with a convincing win over Moore Park on Wednesday. 2014 All-State guard Oscar Pedroso scored all of his team-high 19 points in the first half to pace the Cougars. Cuesta posted a 10-2 record against the conference to win the title outright and ended the regular season with a 21-9 overall mark. Men's basketball will be the number 9 seed in the 3 seed of AA regional playoffs for the second time in three seasons. The Cougars won, will travel to number 8 Cerritos on Friday the Cougars did not play the Falcons this season, who ended the year in a three-way tie in the South Coast Conference. However, the two teams do have a playoff history. In 1995, the Falcons beat the Cougars in the regional finals to earn a trip to the state t tournament, but then two years later, the Cougars beat Cerritos in the regional finals to earn the program's first and only berth in the state championships. The winner of this game will play on March 5 and will likely face number one seed Antelope Valley, who will need to get past play an entrance, Long Beach or Santa Ana in the second round. 10th ring Cuesta Baseball will host number 20 West Valley on Saturday in their final preseason game. The Cougars are only 4-9 on the season, but have eight of those games have been against top five teams. And Saturday's contest marks their 10th game against ranked opponents. 2013 Western State Conference champion Cougars are the highest ranked team in the loop, but three other WOC teams reside in the top 20. Last week, baseball went on the road for the first time and will be glad to be back in slow this week. The Cougars traveled to Salinas on Tuesday to face unranked Hartnell, but fell to the Panthers 5-2. Reliever Spencer Vieira was tagged with the loss. On Thursday, the Cougars headed south to hold their makeup game against number three Riverside on the road. Sophomore pitcher Evan Peterson improved to 2-2 two two on, on the season with the 4-3 victory, while reliever Scott Rilmuk saved his second game for Peterson. On Friday and Saturday, the Cougars lost to number five in Saddleback and Mission Viejo, 6-2 and 2-1. Right-hander Anthony Boleto took another hard luck loss on Friday to fall to 0-3 on the season, and the Gauchos also scratched a runoff reliever Matt Culp on Saturday to saddle him with the loss. Softball concludes its pre-conference schedule with a makeup doubleheader in Porterville on Tuesday. The game was originally scheduled for February 6th, but was rained out. Softball posted a 1-2 record last week and moved to 12-7 overall. The Cougars hosted and split a doubleheader with number 16 Citrus on Friday and then traveled to play number 8 Riverside on Saturday. A big five, fifth inning error in game one against Citrus doomed the Cougars and turned a pitching duel led by Cuesta's Nicole Johnson into an eight-run rule win for the Owls. The Cougars came back behind Jean Ann Ruck in the nightcap to salvage a 5-4 split on Gabby Masari's pinch hit walk-off RBI double. On Saturday, the Cougars went with Ruck to start, but a pair of first inning runs, walks, and an error was all the Tigers needed in a 4-1 decision. The Cougars' lone run was shortstop Brie Ojala's second home run of the week. Swim and Dive competed in the Mount Sac Invitational last Thursday through Saturday with mixed results. The men landed in second place, but their point total was barely half of the host Mounties winning score. All-American and Cuesta record holder Jorn Meendering swept the backstroke events to lead the Cougars. He won the 100 backstroke, 200 backstroke, and the non-championship 50 backstroke. 
The women finished ninth out of 16, 16 teams. The 2013 state qualifier, Carissa Sternfels, led the women's team by scoring 56 of their 96 points. She finished third in both the 50 breaststroke and the 100 breaststroke. Swimming returns to Ventura for the second time in three weeks for their first scoring Western State Conference meet this Friday. The Cougars compete against Ventura, Santa Barbara, Citrus, and Santa Monica. This is the first chance for the men's team to defend its 2013 Western State Conference title and a chance for the women to improve on the program's worst seventh place finish in 2013. Track and field split the squad, sending three athletes to the Mount Sac multi-event meet, while the rest of the team went to the WC relays in Ventura. Both meets were non-scoring affairs, since the relay meets held in several non-championship events, and the Mount Sac meet was scored individually for the athletes. 2013 state runner-up and Cuesta heptathlon record holder Riley Cooks won her first competition of the 2014 campaign. Cooks scored 4,313 points just under 400 points off her school record of 4,704 points and outpaced the competition by 700 points. Cooks won six of the seven events and set a new personal best mark in the high jump. On the men's side, Mateo Abreu and Justin Borba finished 14th and 16th respectively. Track and field heads to Bakersfield on Friday for the Western State Conference North meet. The WC splits its 14-team conference two ways, north-south and coast and inland. Cuesta competes in the north section and it's scheduled to host the Coast Meet on March 20th. That does it for your Cuesta Sports Update for this week, February 24th. I'm Peter Schuler, and I'll see you at the games.